Hey, it's Heather, and welcome to another adventure in gardening. Today is going to be one of those spring days where it's a lot like shoving 10 pounds of potatoes into a 5 pound sack. So there's a lot to do, and I didn't make a list so that I can forgive myself at the end of the day in case I forget anything. But um, So let's go ahead and just get started today. All right, so the wind is really starting to pick up outside, so I'm actually not sure how much of the outside stuff I'm going to get done today. I mean, I still could do it, but um, the first thing I need to do is I need to get caught up with seed starting. So the seed that I'm going to be starting today, we're going to be doing inside because it is big seed day. Actually, I'm like five days late of my schedule. I forgive me. Um, so let me tell you what I'm going to be doing today lots and lots of cucumbers because um, my sister and I love cucumbers and we are on a quest for the perfect cucumber whether it's for eating or whether it's for pickling um, so the the one that we that I am betting on this year and I started enough for myself and for her and um, I actually will be starting cucumbers from now until uh, the second week of July just to have that up and coming crop because in case in case something happens, you want to. I would rather waste the seed and give the plant away, or that's not a waste, is it? But I would rather just give the plants away than not have like a backup plant in case something happens to one of my plants. And last year that was a really big deal because of those striped cucumber beetles. They just, as soon as the cucumbers would be formed, they would just uh, devastate the plant. Um, but I still got plenty of cucumbers last year, even though, because I kept on having that up and coming crop. So the one that I am betting on this year for the pickling cucumber, I've done some research on this. Uh, it is going to be Silver Slicer. So um, I'm gonna be starting, I'm just gonna be doing six packs of most of these today. So Silver Slicer and Puna Kira, which I grew last year. I got a lot of these very thin skin. Uh, sa same thing goes for Silver Slicer, reportedly. Uh, this was a delicious cucumber, so I'll be doing that one. And really, it's not a cucumber but a melon, even though it, it is called a cucumber. I'm going to be doing the Armenian Yard Long. And hang on. Oh, so I have actually never gotten one of these cucumbers. All right. So this is my last year, okay? Is it me? Is it the cucumber? I don't know. Last year, gonna give it a shot. This, I have two seeds left in this packet. Oh yeah, I have two seeds. So I gotta make sure that I don't eat them and instead I save, save the seeds. And, okay, other things I'm gonna be starting today are Kajari melon, I'm gonna be doing that. And new for me this year are the jade bush beans. So this is, um, I'm going to be starting quite a few, um, probably all of these. And uh, last save seeds, I've got Market More 76, and I'm going to be starting a whole lot of those for uh, just a few for myself and more for my father-in-law, my friend Mary, and, um, and to sell a few too. So. Let's get started sowing these seeds. Okay, so beans, cucumbers, and melons. 
all warm weather loving plants okay starting them earlier in the season kind of like well it's it's a losing battle it really is because they grow so fast that they need to so what's going to happen here is i've got them on heat mats because now i'm ready and i want them to grow fast and i the heat mats are going to make them germinate really fast so they're going to germinate and then they are out of here and they're going to go outside so or to the greenhouse depending on how the weather goes so now we're going to go do some fertilizing for the tomatoes i think i think that's where we're going next so i have been kicking stuff out of here just to get it out of my way for the day and also it'll help to acclimate things looks like uh so um the 17th maybe is when the nighttime temperatures change but um things like this gorgeous tray of nasturtiums i'm going to start putting out during the day and then bringing it in at night still but man i just i can't wait to see this out in front of the house out in front of the um, elephant ears this year the the contrast i think in the texture of the foliage and the color it's going to be pretty cool so let me just get rid of these and then we'll fertilize so it's important tomato plants are really heavy feeders so it's important even at this stage to keep on fertilizing them and i use spoma tomato tone and up until this point i have used it as a liquid i take a cup of the spoma the, the granular fertilizer and put it in a five gallon bucket and that's how i and stir it really well and that's how i would water the tomato plants but now i'm going to just go ahead and i'm going to put a quarter teaspoon and the way that i do it is I put it in a bowl and then I just take my quarter teaspoon and I put it in every single pot. But um, so this feed is going to, it's going to last them, it's going to last them quite a while. Um, we've got, what, three weeks until, two and a half to three weeks before they can be planted. So it, this feed will last them um, well until when they're in the ground. I don't know if it's just me, but I love the smell of tomato plant foliage. So every time I'm like going in here with my hands, I can smell it. I just love that. So um, I'm going to, I, I only have like double more to go. Um, but I, I also, today on my list is um, I do a liquid feed of bat guano for the tomato plants. And I couldn't find it where I normally buy it yesterday. So that is on my list. And also I need to take and find, I want to get a fan so that I can blow a fan on them, um, keep the foliage uh, super dry. And uh, also it's good for their stems, makes their stems nice and strong. But they'll be, they'll actually be going outside here to finish hardening off. Um, probably the beginning of next week, I will be putting them out. Maybe, maybe I'll be doing that. I'm not sure yet. It depends on the weather. So I just got to keep going. Oh, and the other thing I need to do while I'm right here is I need to take inventory, which is my least favorite thing to do. I need to know, I, I know I have a set number of each variety of tomato plant, and but then I always plant extra. I've always got that extra more and that drives my husband crazy because I just like the surprise you know, because I just keep coming up with more plants. He's like, inventory's out. I'm like, no, no, I got more. So I'm actually going to count them all, write it down on a piece of paper, and hand it to him. So I would really like to get these snapdragons planted today. I mean, they are well rooted, but, um, you know, they, and, and snapdragons do very well in when the temperatures are a little cool. 
Um, but they need to get in the ground and I need to get some, some plant tone or some flower tone on them or some kind of fertilizer on them. So the way that I'm going to do this so that it's super quick, because I need to do this like in less than a half hour, is I'm going to just pop them all out of the packs, put them in a tray. I'm going to bring them to where I'm going to be planting them today and lay them all out and then literally pop them in the ground. So these snaps are seed grown snaps. They're a tall variety. I started them sometime in February and, um, and they've been outside in the cold temperatures, number one, because they could take it, number two, because there was no room left in the house or in the greenhouse. So uh, it slows their growth down when you do that. But now they're gonna make up for lost time. I'm going to put them into this bed right here. It's, this, this is two pieces. This is where the dahlias are planted in, in soon. <laughs> the dahlias are planted soon. And I have always done something tall in the back. And, um, and I've actually changed it every year because I haven't found anything that I really, really liked. So I'm hoping that snapdragons are it because the snapdragons are going to grow fast early and the dahlias are going to take their sweet time. And, um, you know, and they'll kind of take turns growing and filling in the space and making it look pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and lay all these out and then I'm going to dig them in. Oh, I, I know what I wanted to say that. So this area right here, um, from the time I dug the dahlias last fall until right, I just keep dumping organic matter on here, whether it's chopped leaves or grass clippings or whatever I have. So, um, you know, that's going and it's, it's pretty well rotted right now. So that's going to go ahead and feed these as well as a supplemental fertilizer that I will give them. Hi there. Oh, hey, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Oh, great. Thank you. Girls. And this is why I usually wear a hat when I'm outside because I can barely see because my hair is like everywhere. So this job is finished and uh, next on my list is to go out for a little bit. I have to go to the store to get a few supplies for the garden and, uh, and I, I need to get my baby fixed so I'm going to stop and see my daughter. So that is it for today and yes there are still a few more things to do tomorrow. I wouldn't have it any other way honestly. So I ran my errands, got some mulch and some fertilizer and then I went to hold the cutest baby in the world and then I spent some time at with at the farm with my friend Mavis and we were cleaning the barn up and getting ready for a bridal shower this Saturday so all in all just a great day so thumbs up if you enjoyed spending time with me today and um, and subscribe so we can stay in touch and you don't miss out on the next adventure in gardening see you soon